Hey guys, I was a bit in a hurry today so I haven't filmed an intro so let's just jump right into it. I also have some problems with my lamp as you can see, uh, my mirror lamp. Sometimes it's on, sometimes it's off. We will just work with what we have. For our base I'm going to use the Maybelline 24 7 um, color tattoo, 24 hour color tattoo in pomegranate punk which is this burgundy color with a little bit of gold flecks in it. And this is great for this look that we're going for because it does involve some golds and some burgundy colors. Then I'm going to take the Garnet shade from my Lorac Pro palette and on a fluffy brush I'm going to apply that to the inner and outer corner of the lid and then I'm going to just blend them together. You can go ahead and apply it all over the lid but I'm just going to focus on the crease and on the inner and outer corner because I am going to apply some glitter in the center afterwards anyway. So I'm just sweeping it outwards in the outer corner and because it is a fluffy brush it's easier to create a softer line on the outer edges. Then I'm going to take a little bit more of a precise brush and apply the same garnet color under the lower lash line. And all of the uh, brushes that I'm using are going to be listed down below as well as all of the other products that I'm using with numbering and links in case you are interested. Then I'm going to apply the BA Star Body Shimmer Base which is basically a glitter glue with the applicator and I'm going to dab that to the center of my lid in tapping motions until it gets a little bit tacky and then I'm going to apply the glitter on top of it with my finger and the glitter that I'm going to be using is the um, Galactic Shimmer I don't remember what it's called, I think it's called the Sparkle Sparklers <laughs> in champagne or something like this. I'm going to list everything below and then I'm going to take Espresso which is that dark brown from the same Lorac Pro palette and just intensify the inner and outer corner with this crease brush. So I'm applying a little bit pretty messily on the outer V of the eye and then I'm taking it into the crease and I'm going to do the same on the inner corner and just connect the color in the crease. So right now, as you can see, my lamp is on and it's because I'm holding the little cable that's just not connecting. So while it's on, it's because I'm holding it. Then I'm going to take the same dark uh, brown color, which is called Espresso, under the lower lash line with a more precise brush and then blend the outer corners with the fluffy brush again, just to make everything look smoother. Then I'm going to take cream and on a flat brush I'm going to apply that under my eyebrow to highlight and this is a matte shade and then I always like to take a little bit of what's left on the brush under the outer corner just to sharpen it a little bit and clean any fallouts and stuff I always do that with any look then I'm going to take nude which is more of a shimmery, not shimmery but more it has a little bit more of a sheen to it a little more of a pearly shade and I'm going to apply that with a small flat brush to the inner corner of the eye. Then I'm going to take a black liner and apply it to my waterline. This is the um, Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil and then a fluid line. This is the MAC Black Track. I'm going to apply it um, to my upper lash line with a small tiny brush like this and wing it out. And because it was in such a hurry I totally forgot to film when I apply my mascara and lashes so I've used the too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara and the Ardell Demi Wispies. And the reason my eyes are irritated is because I just sneezed and then I kind of poked my eye with the pencil and yeah, my eye is going to be red for the rest of the video, so don't just ignore that. To bronze up my face, I'm going to use the um, Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer and just bronze up everywhere on my face, a little bit on the neckline, on the sides of the nose and under the cheekbones. And then for blush, I'm going to use the Too Faced um, Sparkling Bellini Blush. This is the Sweethearts Blush. I know I'm using it a lot, but I just really love it. And I'm going to apply that to my cheeks. If you guys know any blush, let me know in the comments below what are your favorite, favorite blushes. Because I own not too much of them, but when I fall in love with a blush, I fall in love with a blush. And I can't stop use this, using this, so I really want to try some new blushes. I really love those neutral peachy tones, so if you have anything that you love, please let me know in the comments below, I would love to try it. Then I'm going to highlight my face using the Galactic Face Glow in Natural. And this is a really, really natural glow from within kind of color. 
and it's not too frosted, not too highlighting, not, not too like bam in your face highlight, but just a really natural highlight. So I really love it. I'm applying it to my cheekbones, the bridge of my nose, the tip of my nose, and the cupid's bow. And then for my lips, I'm going to use the ColourPop um, Ultra Satin Lips in Echo Park. And I'm going to apply that all over my lips. And it's kind of a pinky nude color. But then I wanted to make it a little bit more nude and a little bit more light. So I'm going to apply the ColourPop Ultra Satin Lips in Magic Wand on top. But focusing more on the center. So just a little bit on the center, going a little bit off to the sides, just to give it a little bit more dimension and make it a little bit lighter. And I'm going to take my teeny tiny MAC Dervish lip liner or whatever it's left out of it and just go over the outer corners of my uh, uh, lips, just um, around the edges to make my lip line look a little bit more precise. And that is it for this look. I really hope you enjoyed it and that you like how it turned out. Please make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and I'm going to talk to you all next Tuesday. Bye guys.